New York. For more than 11,000 years, American Indians have lived in what we now call the United States. They live all over the country and also in Canada. Some of them live in New York, which is one of the greatest cities in the world today. In 1524, Giovanni da Verrazzano, who was an Italian explorer, came to the eastern coast of America. He was hired by France to explore the land. He arrived at New York Bay. Later, the English explorer Henry Hudson came to the area. He thought it was very beautiful. The Hudson River is named after him. By 1625, many Dutch people were living in this area of America. They called their new home New Amsterdam, and more people came to live in this beautiful colony. But the British took control of the colony and changed its name to New York in honor of the Duke of York. New York was a British colony for more than a century. After a war between Britain and some of the people living in the colony, America became an independent country. New York was a busy port of 33,000 people by the time George Washington became the first president of the United States in 1789. Today, more than 8 million people live in New York City. It is the biggest city in the United States. The city is made up of five main areas. These areas are Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx, Staten Island, and Manhattan. They all have a lot of history and interesting things to see. But most tourists spend their time on the island of Manhattan. It is the heart of New York. People often call New York City the Big Apple. It is not clear why the city became known as the Big Apple. New York is a city where many immigrants live. There are people from Asia, Europe, Africa, Central and South America, and the Middle East. People who live in New York are called New Yorkers. New York is also a center for finance, politics, and culture. Many tourists visit the city to enjoy musicals on Broadway or to go to concerts. A famous street for shopping is Fifth Avenue, and there are many famous art galleries and museums. The Metropolitan Museum of Art and the Museum of Modern Art are two popular places to visit. Many business people work on Wall Street, which is in the financial area of the city. In this part of New York, you can find many banks and international companies. There are also many foreign government offices in the city. The United Nations has its headquarters in New York. Walking the streets of Manhattan, you find a lot of interesting things. Manhattan is the main area of New York. There are many huge buildings to see. These enormous buildings are called skyscrapers because they look as if they are scraping the sky. One of the most famous skyscrapers is the Empire State Building. It is 381 meters high. This building was once the tallest skyscraper in the world. It took just over one year to build the Empire State Building. It opened in 1931. It was the architectural miracle of its day. The Empire State Building has 102 floors and 6,500 windows. This building is a symbol of New York and has starred in about 100 movies. Thousands of tourists who visit New York like to go to the top floor of the Empire State Building. Looking down from the top floor, 
you will enjoy a view of the city and of the Hudson River. Another very famous place in New York is the Statue of Liberty. France gave the statue to the United States in the late 19th century as a present and to show friendship between the two countries. As a symbol of freedom, this statue has also starred in many movies. A very popular place to go to in the summer is Central Park. People come here to walk and enjoy the gardens. Some people enjoy picnics. You can see people enjoying music, young people having fun on their roller skates or riding bicycles. Central Park, which was the first landscaped park in the United States, is very big. Inside the park, there are several lakes, ice skating rinks, and a lot of areas for sports activities. Bird watchers like to come to the park to see many kinds of birds. There are also many sculptures in the park. The oldest sculpture is Cleopatra's Needle. It is an ancient obelisk and was given as a present to the United States by Egypt. You can even find a castle in Central Park. It is called Belvedere Castle. Belvedere means beautiful view in Italian. And from the castle, you get a wonderful view of Central Park and New York. The castle was designed in the late 1800s. Today, the castle is used as a center for nature lovers. It is a great place to visit to learn about nature and to explore Central Park. Lincoln Center is close to Central Park. Here, people come to see ballet, opera, and other performances. Parents often bring their children here to see famous ballet performances. The Nutcracker is one popular ballet for children to see. Carnegie Hall is another famous building where people like to listen to music. Some tourists also like to walk or drive over the Brooklyn Bridge. It is one of the oldest suspension bridges in the United States. It took 14 years to build the Brooklyn Bridge. The bridge, which opened in 1883, spans the East River. It joins the island of Manhattan to Brooklyn. A fascinating area in Manhattan is Chinatown. It is the largest Chinatown in the United States. There are hundreds of restaurants here serving delicious Chinese food. There are also many shops that sell Chinese medicines and all sorts of interesting souvenirs. This is just one unique area that makes up life in the Big Apple. Little Italy is another neighborhood of Manhattan where many Italians live and work. Chinatown and Little Italy are just two areas of New York with their own special culture. In New York, people from all over the world live together. It is an international city.